Okay. Step two also, uh, well, that, that was step one and two, to put the cross in and the corner in, to put all the edge pieces in with, by making the cross was step one, and then put the corners in, oriented correctly, that's step two. So to solve the first layer, we had two steps. The third step, if you look at the cheat sheet, there is an algorithm for uh, solving the middle layer. I don't use this algorithm. I watched a YouTube video a couple years ago. I was trying to learn how to solve this. And uh, a young gentleman, a kid, maybe 12, 13 years old, had a video that showed how to solve this second layer without using any algorithms. And his technique was this. What you want to do is... What you got to do is you got to put these edge pieces in. So you need a, a one that's red and blue to go here. And the one that's green and red, you need it to go there eventually. And the edge piece that's orange and green, you need the orange here and the green there. And then you need the final edge piece that is blue and orange. So we're trying to solve the second layer by putting the edge pieces in the correct spot with the uh correctly oriented so to do that what you do is you find the edge piece down here you find any edge piece down here that doesn't have yellow in it because yellow is on the bottom we're not nothing we're doing right now has to do with yellow so i found an edge piece on the bottom here it's red and green and what you do is you want to match the red up to the center piece so you you match it up to the center piece and then you figure out where this one needs to go this is red and green so it needs to go to this side to the left side because this would be red and this will be green. So the way this the way this move was explained on the YouTube channel, I don't know who it was now, I saw it many years ago, is what you want to do, you want this piece to go there, so what you're going to do is you're going to move the bottom away, one turn away from the side that you want this piece to go on. So this is the piece we're trying to move here. You move it away. And then you bring this down, it's like the elevator, you bring this down, the left piece down, the side that on, on the left and then you bring it back up you bring the bottom back and then you move the left piece the elevator you can look at it like an elevator again you bring that back up and when you do that you'll see that it knocked this corner piece that was solved before down here it knocked it out of place so then what you want to do is use the elevator technique after you've done this these moves you want to use the elevator technique to solve and by solve, I mean to put this piece back up there. So you want to bring this elevator down, but you want to move it off the elevator, the white piece, bring it down, bring it back onto the elevator, and then take the elevator up. So now once we've done that, the green and red piece is where it belongs. The top is still solved. The top layer is still solved. And now you've placed your one quarter of the way to solving the second layer we got the green and red so now we we look on the bottom again here and we find another edge piece that's on the bottom this one is red and blue so we're going to turn that until you match it with the red center piece you match that with the red center piece and it's blue where does the blue go it's going to go here because it's the red center piece the blue center piece so this one needs to be red this one needs to be blue which is this piece here we need it to go here so what this move does is it swaps this piece into that position so how do we do that again okay well what side do you want this piece to go to we want it to go here so we move it away we move it to the other side you bring the side down the right side down then you bring it back you just reverse the two moves you just did and then you bring that right side back up and when you do that we're halfway through the move Again, that displaces one of the corner cubes from up here that was previously solved. So we look at the white, we find the white, because we want the white to go back up here. We use the elevator technique to solve for the, the cube that's been knocked out of place. So you take the white away from the uh, elevator, because you don't want it to get crushed. You bring the elevator down on the left side. You move the white piece back onto the elevator and take the elevator up. Now, lo and behold, we have the red and the blue are all co correct. And the green 
So we need one more piece now to solve the uh, two more pieces to solve the, the center. We need to put the orange green piece here. Orange green piece. So look down here on the bottom layer. Look for oh, there's a green orange. So we're going to take this green orange piece and you're going to match this up with the green. That's where you want to put it. And then where is it going to go? With green orange goes here on the left side. Because orange is here, green is here, the center pieces. So we know this needs to be green, this needs to be orange. So we got the green orange piece down here. So what we we going to do, like we were taught from this uh, young man on the internet, we move it away. You move it away from the side you want it to go to eventually. So you move it away, bring the other side down, bring it back, the bottom piece, the bottom layer, bring it back, and then turn the right side back up. And when you do that, again, it displaces... This one uh, corner piece that was previously up here that was in the correct place. So we're going to use the elevator technique to get this corner piece back up here. It's down here underneath the elevator. We want this piece to go up here. So we move it out of the way. Bring the elevator down. Bring the bottom back. And then swing it up. The elevator goes back up. And then lo and behold, this is back to being solved, the top layer. And now the middle layer is all solved except this one piece this should be blue orange so we're going to look for the blue orange center uh, uh, edge piece which here it is blue orange so we're going to turn the orange until it's in the correct it matches with the center piece and now the orange blue it's going to this is orange green so we know the orange blue has to go here so we're going to move it away, the bottom, we're going to move it away where the orange blue piece is. We're going to move it away from the side we want it to go to. Bring that side down, bring the bottom back, and bring that side back up. Yeah. And the side that we moved down, bring it back up. So we're just reversing those moves. And then that knocked this, play, this piece out of place. It knocked this piece out of place again so the white orange blue is supposed to be up here in this corner and now it's down here so we're going to use the elevator technique we're going to bring this elevator down but we got to get this off of the elevator so it can not get crushed we bring the elevator down we bring it back onto the elevator and then when we take it up lo and behold we now have the first two layers of the rubik's cube solved and now, when we move on to solving the final layer, there's going to be three or four algorithms. The first algorithm is to make a yellow cross up here. And then there's another algorithm to make sure you can move these pieces around, like swap this piece with that piece, to make sure that these yellow cross are in the right place. And once you get a yellow cross and the, and the edge pieces are in the correct place, that this is yellow green this one to be correct would have to be yellow orange oriented correctly once you get those center pieces and you have a cross when you're looking at the bottom now we're going to make yellow the top of the cube now then there's going to be a series of four algorithms that you have to learn one you put in the cross so that the top looks like a cross and then from there you got to make sure that the edge pieces are in the correct place that's a, a, a second algorithm and then once you have a cross here and everything's correct, then you just you got to put the corners in the right position. You got to put the corner pieces so they're in the right place, but they might not be oriented correctly. So something that's in the right place, the yellow, blue, red would have to be here, but it might not. You know the colors it might be turned so that they're not matching, but the the right colors are here, but they're just not in the right orientation. And once you get the cubes in the right place and each one of these will be a different algorithm we have to learn once you get the the corner pieces in the right place with the right colors uh the right cubes with the right colors in the right place then there's a final algorithm that turns the cube so it's oriented correctly so that you know the right color you know so that this one would be green orange and yellow and it would match you know that the, the, the green would be here, the yellow would be here, the orange would be there. That's the final move. Uh, so there's three or four algorithms you have to learn. I think it's four from here to, to solve the final edge. And we will get to those in a later video.
So that's how you solve the first two layers. We have one layer left to solve, but it takes four different algorithms that you have to memorize and understand, you, you know, the notation on how to turn the Rubik's Cube to solve it.